I think we need a resolution on finding out what is resolution in computers. Well, let's take this example. We have a area where we want to display something and we're going to use blocks to display the letter C. So first of all, take note that there's five blocks across the bottom and five blocks across the side, which means this is a five by five grid. And we want to use that grid to create the letter C. We can only do that by filling in a block or leaving it white. So let's fill in some of the blocks to make the letter C. And there we go. I've got my letter C, which is great, but it's a bit blocky. It's not very clear. It hasn't got the curvature of a proper C letter. So what can we do? Well, let's take those blocks and maybe divide them in two. So we put in a line there to divide them in two and do the next one divide by two. And we're not going to do it just vertically, but we're also going to do it horizontally so that we can divide all those blocks. So one block is now going to become four blocks. If we do that, we're going to have 10 blocks across the bottom and 10 blocks across the side, which now means we've got a 10 by 10 grid. It's the same area, but we've got a lot more blocks. And now because we've got a lot more blocks, we can add a little bit more finer detail to our letter C, but it's still very blocky. Maybe we should go a bit further. Let's further divide those blocks by half. And in this case, exact same area, but now we've got 20 blocks going across the bottom and 20 blocks going across the side, which means we've got a 20 by 20 grid. As we divide those blocks into smaller little segments, we are able to make the image a lot clearer. And if we keep doing this, it'll get to the point where you can't even see the different little blocks. This is basically the idea behind resolution. The formal definition is the image quality and the clarity produced by a printer or displayed on a monitor. It is represented as the number of pixels contained or expressed in terms of the number of pixels, basic horizontal axis or the number of pixels on a vertical axis that are contained in an inch. The actual measurement is different depending on the type of hardware. When it comes to a display, maybe a screen or a monitor or an image, we are looking at the maximum number of pixels that is displayed represented by a horizontal and vertical value. Let's take this scenario. You've got this type of image, a 2560 by 1440. What that means is there are 2560 pixels across the bottom or across the horizontal, and there are 1440 pixels on the vertical. That tells you how many total pixels there are available to create that image. The higher the numbers, the clearer the image. Now, when it comes to digital cameras, we're talking about the quality of the picture, which is the total amount of pixels captured in the picture expressed in the terms megapixels. You might have a picture that is four megapixels. That tells you how many pixels are in that image. The higher the image, the better the quality, but also the more storage space is going to be used to store that image. In printers, we're looking at the level of detail in a printed image and it's measured by the number of individual dots of ink or toner that are applied to a square inch of paper. And the measurement is dots per inch. In this case, we've got 600 dots per every inch. When it comes to scanners, it's very similar. The amount of detail a scanner can capture in a horizontal line and this is also measured in dots per inch. So the higher the value, the more clearer the image that is going to be scanned. So resolution means a value that's going to determine how clear that image is. The higher the value, the more clear the image is because there are more little dots in order to create that image. I think it's a great idea if you click on that subscribe button so that you can support the channel. Leave a comment about what computer term you want us to cover next. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.